Okay, it's time for a new pickups video. Now, this will be a mystery to you, but not a mystery to me because I already know what the item is. Um, been waiting for this particular item um, to drop down in the cell for quite a long time. And a couple of days ago, um, it was, um, I saw it in a cell secondhand, um, which I don't have a problem with buying the second item, items as long as obviously the condition of it is good and which we'll find out in a minute. And obviously, it also works so um without further ado we shall unveil this mystery um purchase okay because i ordered this on this this will be as of now it's as of me, now me doing this recording check what time it, it is um 3:24 a.m. in the UK, which it's Wednesday the 15th. Um, I ordered this, uh, believe it or not, on Monday the 13th. And it came pretty quickly from Music Magpie, so I'm, I'm extremely happy there that it came actually pretty quickly, wasn't And that was obviously with free delivery as well, so I'm kind of really chuffed about that. It came pretty fast. Um, you probably might be able to see what it is. Blast it off. Oh god. This is on so tight. Got it stuck on and I have to tear it off from, from the other end. Okay, we got that off. And voila, it's season one of Star Trek Enterprise. Originally, um, when they did the first couple of seasons, it was, it was just called um, Enterprise. It wasn't called Star Trek Enterprise. They only added it on Frederick from the third season, I think. But yeah, um, really enjoyed this series. Um, sadly, it, it only ran for four seasons. Normally, the Star Treks in the past used to run for seven seasons. This was cancelled after the fourth season. And obviously, um, they gave... Um, it had a series finale, which... <clears throat> Most people um, did not like um, involved Riker and Deanna Troy, and it was to do with the episode of Next Generation to do with um, that ship. These, I think it's the USS Pegasus, the one that had the cloaking device, and um, Riker wanted um, didn't know how he should um, break the news to Picard and what happened. So he, that's how they used the last episode, which wasn't supposed to be the last episode. And for me, um, Enterprise found its stride in the fourth season. I do think in the third season that the, the whole plot of the Zindi thing are very interesting. I think they shouldn't maybe have ran it for the through the entire season. <clears throat> That's my only kind of gripe, but um, for me, it really started to pick up, and I do wish they had done more and shown more of the Federation being built, but you can't everything. But it was still a very enjoyable. Um, I remember seeing um, the pilot episode um, to season one called Broken Bowl, and that was a pretty good story, um, a pretty good um, story and pretty good pilot. Um, I think it was one of the first um, new Star Trek um, shows to be filmed in a digital camera as well. So that's why um, the Star Trek Enterprise is, um, is available on DVD and also on Blu-ray as well. Whereas the next generation, they had to redo the effects for the next generation um, series, which was actually very expensive. And then, and then so I've been slowly trying to replace my um, next generation um, seasons on um, Blu-ray. I think I've only got. I think I've only got seasons one and two, and the best of both worlds, part one and two, is a separate um, Blu-ray. <clears throat> and then with season two of the Next Generation, if you remember, there was an episode called um, Oh God, that episode with Data. Um, I'm trying to look it up because I'm trying to remember. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember what it is, but um. They, one of the episodes in Star Trek, um, Next Generation Season 2, they actually did a extended, um, in a version of the, um, of the, of this particular episode. And <clears throat> it was the first time that it was ever seen on Blu-ray. They've never, um, um, done that particular episode, um, obviously on, um, shown the extended version of it on, on terrestrial TVs. As the, as the best of my knowledge, let me look through 
what the episode was called because we should have it here yeah um the measure yeah the episode called the measure the measure of a man and then ordered um and it that is ordered to serve um captain bruce maddox um so, so on that blu-ray version of it um on season two that duration they extended um that episode is actually longer which i haven't which i'm looking forward to getting around to watching to see what the difference is going to be and so even right down to the next generation, the actual colour grow gradient of the uniforms look a lot more um, vibrant than what they did on DVD. So, <clears throat> and then obviously, unfortunately, with the Deep Space Nine and Voyager, those were, were filmed on normal cameras and a 4 by 3 ratio. And obviously, to, to do them on Blu-ray, both um, shows out to seven seasons, they'll have to redo the effects on, on, on both shows. And obviously, that would cost a lot of money. Now they do show um, Deep Space Nine and Voyager on most streaming services, but obviously they just upscale it, so it's not really kind of cleaned up. As I said before, um, this is season one of Star Trek Enterprise. Um, as I said before, really enjoyed um, the pilot, which was right, really, which, which, which was really good, and and um, the show was created by Rick Berman and Brandon Braga. Um, it, it, um, the show starred Scott Bakula, who for me I remember him as um, <coughs> as um, in was it um, Doctor Sam Beckett in um, Quantum Leap. You got um, John Billing Billingsley, um, Jolene Balock, Dominic Keaton, Anthony Montgomery, Linda Park, and Connor Trinier. Now. Um, for those of you who are big Star Trek fans, um, two of the actors from the show, Dominic Keaton and Connor Trinier, um, run a um a Star Trek podcast called um the Shuttle Pod. And they usually up um load stuff every Sunday. So if you're a big fan of the two actors, which I am, and big fan of um, the characters on Enterprise, and also a big Star Trek fan. Um, I would highly recommend subbing, subscribing to their um, Shuttlepod um, show on a, um, on YouTube. Um, they, they've interviewed us, um, some of the Next Generation cast, um, some of the people behind the effects on all these, some of the most of the Next Generation and, um, movies. They've, they've interviewed um, quite a lot, a lot of um, people that, they've, that have been involved in Star Trek. So... Um, I would highly recommend subscribing sub to that YouTube channel. So that's a shut up. I'll, if I remember, I'll try and put the link of that in my description box so you can subscribe to their channel. But I highly recommend them um, um, subbing to that channel. It's actually really, 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 really awesome. Um, this does have the opening theme, um, Faith of the Heart, performed by Russell Watson. Um, <clears throat> at the time, there was a lot of, bit, bit of controversy because obviously a lot of the Star Trek shows they have the opening theme is usually composed, but this one had um somebody uh, had Russell Watson singing the opening theme, which for me didn't kind of bother me. Um, you kind of just got used to it. You kind of just get on with it. And then the ending theme was Archer's theme by Dennis McCarthy, and um yeah, it was a as if it ran for this the Enterprise show ran for four seasons with a total of um ninety eight episodes, um. Rick Berman and Brandon Bragger were the, sh were the showrunners from 2001 to 2005. And then Manny Col Colto um, took over from 2004 to 2005. So, <clears throat> um, but as I thought, that's when it was really kind of, for me, getting into its stride with season four. And it's just a, I mean, it's just a shame that it got cancelled because uh, that's when it was getting really getting into its um, stride, as I said. So we'll have a look at the back of here. This is just so tiny. <clears throat> so we'll see what we can all we can read this. It says here a bold new beginning. Now for the first time on Blu-ray, follow Star Starfleet's earliest four four years into deep space in breathtaking 1080p. <clears throat> pardon me. Um high definition picture and English five point one DTS HD master audio. Captain Jonathan Archer Scott Bakula commands the Enterprise NX01, the first 
earth-built vessel capable of breaking the warp five barrier with his his trusted chief engineer charles trip tucker the <coughs> third played by connor trenier science officer to paul played by jolene ballock and security expert lieutenant malcolm reed played by dominic keaton captain archer is tasked with exploring the new un unknown star systems propel your imagination further and faster from then before with a ever expanding universe of captivating characters interstellar intrigue and adventures that will come to define the very existence essence of starfleet so that's pretty cool there and as for special features um so there's so much to explore to boldly go launching enterprise a new three-part documentary includes new cast and crew interviews vintage behind the scenes footage and more and that's in hd in conversation rick berman and brandon bragger sit down for a candid um new interview that's in hd as well which, which is normally they do things in the standard uh, definition on set star trek enterprise produced for tv but never broadcast a first-hand account of the making of an episode and new cast and crew commentaries on select episodes so that's really good there and just see what we've got here and it says one by seven eight by one anthropomorphic widescreen um english 5.1 dts hd master audio english sorry french um stereo surround german Dol dolby digital 5.1 italian dolby digital 5.1 japanese stereo um stereo surround spanish stereo surround subtitles english danish dutch finnish french german italian japanese norwegian spanish swedish and a total running time of 1150 minutes approximately so that's what you get there and you've got obviously the shot of the enterprise nx01 and um, i did read that if they were um um if um, they were going to do um a season five they were going to upgrade the ship by giving it um a i don't know what they call it um I um they were gonna they were going to upgrade the actual ship so it would have slowly started to look like Kirk's ship. So they were going to add 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 more to the ship. So which so again we're never going to see that unfortunately. So we'll open this up. There's no um I forgot to mention that I do own um Star Trek Enterprise on DVD for obviously all the seasons. Um, and that's why I've been slowly been replacing um, my Enterprise collection on Blu-ray. So with this, I have season one. I don't have season two at the moment. I have season three and I have season season four. And I think one of the scenes I've got does have um, a slip cover in it. So if you um, if you ha did manage to get these brand new in the past, you may have been lucky enough to get um, a slip cover with um, some of these. Um, um seasons with the next generation ones i think the first one um i don't think i got a slip cover for it but with season two i actually did get a slip cover of it which doesn't kind of bother me it would have been a nice touch to have it but you know you can't have everything i guess so okay so we've all did this here we've got some oh that's the advertisement for star trek next generation season three was it without the best of both worlds obviously this was the 29th of april which is quite a long time ago again as before i need to replace my next generations, as I explained in the beginning, why because obviously they've um, redone the graphics, and I do need to buy um, eventually um, the Star Trek the original series season three because I've got the first two on Blu-ray, but not the third season, which was what it was the last season before it got cancelled, before the original series got cancelled. And what what's great about the original series on Blu-ray is that you've got the option of either um, um, watching 
um, the episodes with the original effects or with the um, you could get the option of watching the original series with um, brand new um, up to date effects on the actual ship, which is kind of cool that you can actually toggle between the two. So I just need season two, of, sorry, season three to complete my collection of the original series. And also I've got Star Trek Discovery season one on Blu-ray. We'll see if there's going to be a fifth and final series, um, season of that show. So I, I still need another um, four um, seasons um, to catch up um, in terms of buying them on Blu-ray. And obviously Strange New Worlds season one came out on Blu-ray a while, I think last year. Still, I'm going to wait for a price drop on that. And obviously, season two of Strange World um, ended a couple of um, months ago. And obviously, you've got Lower Decks, which I don't know is available on Blu-ray yet. I would surmise it is. So, I've got a lot of catching up to do all the time. But, yeah, I can be patient and wait because I've already seen them all anyway. But I can be patient. Um, let's see how many discs this comes with. So you can, as you can see, we've got the Blu-ray disc, which I've got no um, artwork on it. Just a plain blue um, artwork on there. So I think on total, unless they've put it in the wrong order, I think it's six. I've already <clears throat> put them in the wrong order, which doesn't, which can be easily fixed. Okay, we can see if we can get this out of that. Breaking it. I've got this from Music Magpie. The discs so far look completely brand new. Condition. I and mean, then we've got the episodes behind there. You can, as you can see, we'll go through. I won't go through obviously what happened in every single episode, but what we'll do is I'll go through um, the titles of the actual um, episodes. So we'll put that on there. Put this back there. We can fit these in there. Obviously, you can see you've got disc one. You've got disc one, disc two. This free here. I've put this to one around, which I can fix very easily. There we go. And that's this free. Disc four. And then we have disc five. And we've got disc six. And then we take out this six. We can see that it shows the rest of the um episodes and obviously where the special features would would be would, would, so the special features so there's two episodes on disc six and the special features on there which the special features i said earlier on are in hd quality nine and so that's kind of really good there we'll go through the titles of this season one which means we, which means we have until Look them, look them all up. Which shouldn't be too difficult to sit in to do. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, season guide. Yeah, right, we'll look up. So, <coughs> no, no, season four. Um, we'll find that. Okay, so in season one, there are 26 episodes, which is kind of, which is a whole, which is a bit of a mouthful in the sense that um, mostly from the next generation to Deep Space Nine to Voyager to to Enterprise, which are the last of the old school um, for, well, in my generation of the next, of the Star Treks, they used to have roughly about 20, maybe 20 plus episodes now with these streaming services now um a lot of the shows the new shows now they're about 13 12 13 episodes now so they are a lot shorter but obviously the quality is a lot better um except for Picard, i think that was obviously was had less um episodes but obviously strange new worlds and um discovery um their episodes aren't particularly ready so like 12 or 13 episodes so we'll go through um the title of the first and then when they aired so you've got broken bowl part one which is episode one and it aired on the 28th of september 2001 and broken bowl part two which is episode two uh, so 20 uh, 26 of september so that was the same day so the shot is a two hour special 
um, that was 2001. Episode 3 is titled Fight or Flight, and that was on the 3rd of October 2001. Episode 4, Strange New World, <laughs> um, that was the 10th of October um, 2001. Episode 5, Unexpected, that was on the 17th of October 2001. Episode 6, Terror Nova, that was on the 24th of October 2001. Um, episode 7, The Andorian Incident, that's the 31st of October 2001. Episode 8, Breaking the Ice, that was the 7th of November 2001. Um, episode 9, Civilization, that was on the 14th of November 2001. Um, episode 10, um, F Fortunate Son, that's on the 21st of November 2001. Episode 11, Cold Front, that was on the 28th of November 2001. Episode 12, Silent Enemy, that was on the 16th of January 2002. Episode 13, Dear Doctor, that was on the 23rd of January 2002. Episode 14, Sleeping Dogs, that was the 30th of January 2002. Episode 15, Shadows of Pajem, that was the 6th of February 2002. So if I butchered that. Episode 16, Shuttlepod 1. Oh, that's a very good episode. I highly recommend watching that episode with Reed and um, Tr um, Tucker Stranded. One, it's, it's, it's been um, voted as one of the best episodes in um, episodes in the, in the whole of the Star Trek run. So I highly recommend watching that episode. That's episode 16, Shuttlepod 1. And that was on the 13th of February 2002. Episode 17, Fusion and that was on the 27th of February 2002. Episode 18, Rogue Planet. That was on the 20th of March 2002. Episode 19, Acquisition. That was on the 27th of March 2002. Episode 20, Oasis. The 3rd of April 2002. 20th, um, episode 21, Detain Detained. That was on the 24th of April 2002. Episode 22, Vox Solar. That's the 1st of May 2002. Episode 23, Fallen Hero. That was on the 8th of May 2002. Episode 24, Desert Crossing. Um, and that was the 8th of May to, um, 2002. Um, episode 25, Two Days and Two Nights. That was on the 15th of May 2002. And the season finale of, of season 1. Episode 26, Shockwave Part 1, and that was on the 22nd of May 2002. What also the running um, storyline that they had was the Temporal Cold War, and that somebody from the future was helping these race of people try to destroy the Federation. Alas, this was never um, um, concluded in, in, um, in all this from seasons, from, even up until the last season of season 4, so we never got to find out who was behind the temporal cold war or who was the um the enemy and that was going back was sending it was helping these race of people to um advance the, um their race so that they could destroy the federation so we never find out who it was which is a shame really there's been many <coughs> fan theories as to who but we'll never know um i'll quickly show you this which i might do in a separate video <coughs> um this is my, sorry about that. This is my um, season one of Star Trek Enterprise on DVD. It came in this casing. The easy back of the day was actually quite expensive. And then you've got the little slit. So it kind of look, kind of looks like a torpedo. But I've got um, all of the, um, I've got all four seasons, seasons like this. So although I'm going to be replacing them. Um, I'm not gonna um gonna get rid of these. I'll still, I'll still keep this as a collector's item. So yeah, look out for. I might do a video straight after this, um, showcasing this. But yeah, this is um, Star Trek Enterprise one. All I need now is um to, is to try and get um season two for a reasonable price, and I'll have that completed. So yeah, highly recommend um. As of all, a very underrated series. So if you haven't already watched it, it is available on various different streaming services and on Paramount Plus as well, if you've got a subscription to that. So if you don't um, obviously own any of these on DVD or Blu-ray, you can find it on Paramount Plus to stream 
along with um, all the other um, Star Trek shows, um, old and new, that um, are available. So they're all available on Paramount Plus. And I'm not sure about Netflix, but I'm sure um, if you, um, whatever streaming service you have, you'll, they'll be available. Anyway, um, I hope people found this video informative. Please feel free to share with your friends and family. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, I would highly appreciate that. That will allow people to find my YouTube channel and content on the YouTube homepage. This is because of the YouTube algorithms favor the bigger YouTubers, so they're advertised with their channel and content. So, a thumbs up uh, or a like in the video will help, and obviously positive comments will also help as well. If you already haven't, um, consider please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you want to see unboxes like this and many other different content that's available on my um youtube channel so whether it's um food reviews drink reviews unboxes like this um comics you you name it movie and tv show reviews i've got some big stuff coming up in the next um couple of weeks and i'm leading up to christmas so again as i said well, i've got some really big stuff to come my channel so keep an eye on that so one of the best ways to keep an eye on an eye is obviously is to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell on, on the notification so that you all so that you know when um i've uploaded any new content so anyway that just leads me to say wherever you are in the world and um, please stay safe and i'll speak to you again on the next video bye for now